What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now a couple of months ago, it was rumoured that going into the year 2 of Destiny, that the Taken King was going to be the last main DLC, and we would be getting events drop every month or so, a lot like the Sparrow Racing League, ones which are free to everyone to play and take part in, but you had the option to spend and use real life money to purchase in-game items, i.e. microtransactions. You may remember a few videos I did talking about this quite a while back and now it seems to be the case. We will not be seeing any new DLCs in this year 2 of Destiny. Instead we will be getting special events such as the Halloween event and the Sparrow Racing League. This was confirmed over the weekend by Bungie designer Derek Carroll who stated this. With the Taken King, we are moving towards a more event-based model. Things like Festival of the Lost and Sparrow Racing, which is our winter event, and then smaller events such as Iron Banner and the Trials of Osiris every weekend. Rather than doing these giant monolithic DLC packs, this way everybody who owns the Taken King can enjoy these things. Eurogamer also asked, would there be anything you need to buy to access? Carol replied, we've had Festival of the Lost and Sparrow Racing, both events are open to all players with only cosmetic items purchasable via real world money. If you wanted to extrapolate from there, you could. And the reason this is happening is because of the technology, deficiencies, among other issues. It would be near impossible for Bungie's developers to create enough new content for both DLC packs we would expect in year 2 and the next expansion to Destiny, which is obviously Destiny 2, which I'm guessing will be out later next year. Now although I am a little gutted about there not being any new DLC stories coming or raids as it seems, it makes for a better game in Destiny 2 and I fully support Bungie's decision to do this. I know most would not agree with that but at the end of the day it would make Destiny 2 worth the wait. I mean them spending all their time creating content for Destiny in terms of DLC expansions would no doubt equal out in Destiny 2 being lacklustre like many people felt Destiny 1 was on release. For sure it could be a dry wait for this Destiny 2 for those of us who are still playing Destiny 1 on a daily basis but hey we don't know what events they have planned and going by the Sparrow Racing League event I'm quite optimistic. Now there's always two sides in what the Destiny community's point of view is. Those who say we need more DLC on a regular basis as there ain't enough content in each and there are those who complain about DLC due to its price and not worth it. The way it seems is Bungie are trying to keep both on side by releasing events more often which are free to play. This way we are kept happier more often and fall bored less quickly. For sure I'd much prefer new DLC in terms of strikes, raids and story as often as Bungie plan to drop these uh, free events but being realistic that's impossible for Bungie to do it really is. And although many people see Bungie as a massive robot shitting new content and ideas, that just ain't the case. They are a group of people working for what's best for both of them, their game and for us. It's just Bungie are creating what should and I believe will be an incredible game in Destiny 2. And like I said, if we want an amazing follow up to the game we've all fell in love with, sacrifices will have to be made and unfortunately them sacrifices are year 2 DLCs as it seems. Hopefully the events Bungie have planned are worth it for both us and them though, as if they get things wrong they could lose a massive chunk of the player base they have. And if Destiny 2 is what I believe they did confirm it would be a while back, a game where you and your character's progress go through into Destiny 2, they will need to keep as many people on board as possible and to do that these events need to be more of a variety than just racing sparrows and collecting candy. But I'm sure Bungie have some great ideas set in place which I'm sure we will certainly find out about real soon. But guys that's the end of the video, let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We have a winner. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Vid after vid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads, gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.